In this video I will install MQTT broker on my Raspberry Pi. This should work with Orange Pi running ARM PN or even the Raspberry Pi Zero as long as it has some kind of network connection. As a starting point I have Raspberry Pi with freshly installed Raspbian and only thing I have done is configuring the network settings. So the MQTT, it is a messaging protocol. The publisher will publish a message to a certain topic and the broker will distribute the message to all the subscribers of that topic. So the broker is kind of a hub where all the information goes through. As an example, temperature sensor could be a publisher and the subscriber to that topic could be for example device that will switch on the heater at certain temperature. Instead of sensor and heater talking to each other, the information will go from sensor to broker and the broker will get the information to the heater. I just run the app to get update to make sure I have the latest package list and I can install that broker software to my Raspberry Pi. I chose to use software called Mosquito. If I install the package Mosquito it will install the broker but there's also a package called Mosquito Dash Clients. It includes command line applications which can be used as subscribers and publishers. I will install it so I can test this MQTT broker easily from command line on my Raspberry Pi. The Mosquito Dash Clients package isn't necessary if you want to install just the broker on your Raspberry Pi and use external clients. That's it, those two packages Mosquito and optional Mosquito Dash Clients. They are now installed and I will open another command line window and test publishing and subscribing with the installed software. Now the screen has been divided in two parts. Both of these command lines are running on the Raspberry Pi where I installed the Mosquito and Mosquito Dash clients. On the left window I will use Mosquito underscore sub to subscribe to a topic defined by dash t followed by the topic. For example in this case Hugatrice Hacklock slash test topic. Then I hit enter and that is all I need to do. Then I change to the right window where I will publish that same topic mosquito underscore pub. And again I will define the topic with dash t followed by the topic which is same as previously. And I'll define the message with dash m followed by the message. That is the simplest command to test this when the broker is running on the local host. This can be used to subscribe and publish to remote brokers if you want, but I'm not going to do that in this video. And when I run this command, look at the left side of the display. The message will arrive on the subscriber's output. And after receiving a message, the subscriber on the left window will stay subscribed. And if I send another message, for example, don't forget to like this video, it will receive that message as well. Writing a message on one window and making it appear on second window is cool and all, but that's not what I planned on using this for. This can be super handy for some IoT applications that I will do in future videos, maybe later this month and next month. One idea is to use ESP8266 modules, for example one could gather data using some sensors and other one could be used to display the values on some other location. 